go by and in 500 meters at the roundabout I continue straight to stay on sea world drive Dito na kami sa SeaWorld Sa Naval Ako makakapirate ako Mama, later na tayo daddy We'll take a picture later Sorry Hey, 
the penguin princess. Hello, hello. Princess. <laughs> Atlantic journey. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's in here? Don't jelly the yarn. <laughs> so this is it. Yeah, upside down. What about this one? And moon jelly. And moon jelly. 
This is the love. are the different kind of jelly look at that Ride. I know Dora is here and I'll check. Okay, you don't like it. Here we got. This is the shark village. Oh my god, the big fish. Honey, it's a big fish, Daddy. Oh wow, tuna. Yummy. Fresh. <laughs> so let's find another one. We're going in the other side because the other side is not hot. Look at the shark. This is the shark village. I 
think it's close. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at the fish. Wow. Shark. Princess is here. Look at that. Wow. Pagi and pagi. We call that pagi in Philippines. So we're in a shark bay. It's a shark bay. Oh no, look at the baby. Baby shark. Oh, look at the baby shark. Is that shark or fish? So that's a fish. Look at that fish. So as we just went up. Tanga nagahanap mo. Bubo ka? Ayun doon yung isa ang nag-aano doon. Walang way lang. Dolphin din ba yun? Shark ba yun? Dolphin. That's what I went on five times. Ayun siya o. Lalara sila doon. Balik tak terlaga ulang. Hai. Look at the dolphin princess. Mamatay na ngayon lalaki. <laughs> okay, kuno. Ano yan o? Buhay ka pa? <laughs> Source of shapes and sizes. The largest are oceanic manta rays, which can reach widths of up to 7 meters. Jalin, Jalin. Which are only 10 centimeters wide. Wow. Here at Rye Reef, we have several beautiful species of rays. No, the big brown, brown yeah. ones are, are you scary rays. And these rays are very well camouflaged in their mud flat mangrove habitats. That's Estuary lively. Rays, I remember that even. Like many of our species here at Rye Reef, are benthic species or bottom dwelling species. And like all rays, they have a birth to live young. You will find our large females housed here at Ray Reef, while our smaller males can be seen next door in Shark Bay. The smaller brown kite shaped rays with dull blue spots on their backs and a strip of brown across their eyes are also spotted bat rays, another benthic species, and you'll find them gliding along the lagoon floor. We also have our sandy colored rays with bright blue spots on their backs. These are our blue spotted lagoon rays. These rays are extremely well camouflaged in their tropical reef habitat. Over in our larger pool at the southern end, what's that you'll find these curious looking creatures that are sandy in color.
around 35 degrees if it's successful, a little kick for height. Now it is quite small in the beginning, like the egg is around the size of a small chicken egg. The penguin, penguin. For the first eight weeks, the chick isn't waterproof, it has a brown fluffy down, so it stays in the burrow and the parents take turns returning to look after and feed it. Oh, how cute. Now, after about eight weeks though, they are fully grown. They will have their adult feathers and be waterproof. So they come out into the world and look after themselves. So it is a really short time the little penguin has to play parent. Now, just because a male builds a nest does not mean he's going to be lucky in love. And this is proven year after year by our little penguin, Chip. Now, Chip would make a beautiful nest by our standards, but unfortunately none of the girls were impressed by him. One year he even picked the neighbors out of nest so and cute. built two nests, but still no luck for poor little Chip. Until one year, the movie Oddball started filming. I'm not sure if anybody's heard of it or <laughs> It was filmed during a breeding season, so we chose Chip to be the lucky star in that movie. Now, there were a few other penguins that went with him, and one of them was Peter. During that filming, they actually grew quite inseparable, which is pretty cute. So if you ever watch that movie and see Pocket running across the screen, that's actually Chip running to Edith on the other side. Now, when that filming wrapped up, they came back to Penguin Point. Another breeding season rolled around. Chip made another one of his beautiful nests, but this year it just wasn't impressed by him. Now they were successful in having a little chip, oh, which is quite cute. So all Chip needed to do to find love is to become a movie star, so it's not just humans with a shadow, it's penguins too, apparently. Now, you may have also heard that penguins mate for life. I'm sorry to tell you, this is not true in little penguins. Some of the other guys were not these little ones. Now we do have some couples of been together for years, like Chip and Edith, uh, but most of them sneak Baby out during the day, find five other penguins and come back home at night. So it is very traumatic. I think we get more upset about it than they do. Uh, we could start a reality TV show here at Penguin Point during the breeding season. Now one way we do know when the breeding season is coming to an end is when our penguins start to double in size. And this indicates the start of the molting season. Now in the wild, uh, you can never see a little penguin leave their burrow during this time, so they would eat a whole bunch of food and stay in their burrow for two weeks. Now for each penguin over that two week period, they'll lose all 10,000 of those feathers and replace them with new ones. It is known as a catastrophic molt, because unlike your pets at home who may lose their feather and fur slowly, these guys do it all at once. Now because they are going through that process, they're no longer waterproof, which means when they are out in the world, uh, they lose that safety in numbers. So penguins all always swim together as a group in the water, known as a raft. Uh, when they aren't waterproof, they're a lot slower, uh, so they're more likely to get picked off by predators. Same as when they're running from the ocean back up to their burrows at night time, that same thing would happen. But luckily here at Penguin Point, there is nothing chasing them. So they do have that choice if they like to come out and feed uh, and swim during that time. Now we just have had our last go to the, uh, the molting season for this year. His name is Einstein in the water. We just retagged him this morning. Uh, but it is definitely a very funny time to come. Uh, there's some very funky hairdos. Now each day it changes a lot. And then come in and they'll have feathers all over their head and then a nice sh uh, beautiful shiny body. Now it is quite a good time to look at them because they are quite bright. Another feature in regards to their feathers is to do with the colouring. And this is known as camera shading. Now this helps them to camouflage in the water in the wild. Anything flying above when looking down. Those nice dark blue back to theirs will help to blend in with the dark water of the ocean. And anything swimming below when looking up, those white bellies will help to blend in with the light coming from above. Now it is even on their feet when they swim their feet through up. So they're black on the bottom and then pink on the top. Now another thing you will see them doing, and I'm sure one will demonstrate for us shortly, is grooming. Now they have a gland near their tail that helps them to spread the oil like some over their feathers, and this is what makes them waterproof. Now in the wild, the average life expectancy for a little penguin is around seven years of age. Uh, but we're proud to say that our oldest penguin, Peaches, turned 19 last year. Um, shortly followed by Dirk uh, behind her, who's 18. But this is thanks to a constant food supply, a 24 hour vet on call and no predators like I mentioned earlier. Now the little penguin has predators both in the ocean and on land. In the ocean this is things like sharks, whales and seals. And on land you have things like cats, dogs, foxes and birds of prey. 
But unfortunately, the biggest threat of all to the little penguin is us as humans, which seems to be the case for more and more animals nowadays. We affect them in many different ways, whether it's habitation loss, overfishing, or pollution. Now, I will just mention this little guy at the tray now. He is one of our rescues. So anyone that you see with an orange tag has been brought into us um, as a rescue. Now, we love to live on ocean front land just as much as they do, and we are causing uh, less place for them to live. In the terms of overfishing, those little pilchards that I mentioned earlier, we do catch them to feed ourselves. We call them sardines. Um, we also catch them to feed to tuna farms. Now, this is putting a little penguin to swim further each day in the search of food. When it does come to that pollution, that can sometimes be in the way of an oil spill. When a little penguin swims to that oil, it's no longer waterproof. It will groom itself, uh, but actually ingest some of that oil. So it is quite a vicious process for them. But the biggest one is definitely single-use plastic and fishing line and hooks that haven't been properly disposed of. Now each year, SeaWorld rescues hundreds of seabirds who have been caught up in that pollution. Thanks to our wonderful vet team who work around the clock uh, to rehabilitate and release as many animals as we can, but some do need to call SeaWorld home. Obviously, while we are here, we do try to give them the best life we possibly can, but I feel like we don't want them to have to go through that process at all. Oh no! Going to dolphin area. Shut up. The dolphin. So what's going on here? Yeah, you can. So we don't, no one will gonna have with, with us because we don't have Alma someone outside. Yeah, just do like that princess. Oh. Yeah, do it, do it. Yay. Yeah. I do it. <laughs> Daddy, no, I do it. So guys, we're here. We're here. There's the other boat no ano daddy. The other boat no ano. Yeah. Oh my god, don't quit us because I don't know you. <laughs> we don't know you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, princess. Okay, you try to wait. Okay. Don't go their boat, please. Yeah. <laughs> Woo oh, 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 princess. Woo Hi, Nana. Anoyin ko talaga yung mga mukha na ito.
We can't fight here because he's in the... No. <laughs> no. 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 It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Laban. We can't even fight. <laughs> watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> 